Welcome back to Streetlight Eats. We did something a little bit differently today. We actually did go and visit a national chain. We went to Bonefish Grill right here by the Dayton Mall. And right off the bat, I prefer mom and pop places. Yeah, I do too. Definitely um, better experience, I think. And definitely um, for me, I think the food is better. Mm-hmm. Just... Not that anything we had today was necessarily bad, but um, yeah, I think you can just tell. Yeah. Um, what did you get? Well, we were supposed to get the tuna poke as an appetizer, but they mm -hmm. brought it out with the meal. Yeah, that was weird. And then they tried to, I, I got the um, wood grilled Caesar salad, um, but she brought out to me first off just a side Caesar salad. I was like, where's my wood grilled chicken? <laughs> yeah. So there's a little bit of adjustment on that, which is weird. I don't, anyway, I got the chicken masala. That was really good. Mm -hmm. um, Looked good. Yeah, it was like a grilled chicken breast, and then it had some masala sauce, I guess. Isn't that like a red wine sauce? I guess. I don't know. I've only had like chicken tikka masala, which is like an Indian dish. And chicken tikka. it tastes and looks, <laughs> it tastes and looks a lot different than. What I got here, not that that's bad or anything, but um, yeah, yeah. Oh, overall, not bad. We were the youngest people there. We're not allowed to say that, Jonas. Why not? <laughs> why, why am I not allowed to say that? Because you're not allowed to say that. Says who? Says me. <laughs> okay, well, I said it. Okay. And it's staying in the video. Okay. I did say it. <laughs> and we were. And, I mean, and the, we're not young. <laughs> The hostess was like 30 years older than us. Yes. Uh, the server was younger. Maybe younger, yeah. Definitely younger. 20s. I wouldn't know. I wasn't really looking. Oh, well. But you definitely scanned the room. Well, yeah, I was looking at all the other white haired people. <laughs> was white and gray hair everywhere. <laughs> the Christmas sweaters. So if you're a baby boomer, you'd love it. Yeah. Bear in mind, though, it is very expensive. Jonas and I, I yeah. think our bill before tip was 70 bucks. Yeah. I, I don't know that I got $70 worth of food. Mm -mm, definitely not. I think um, I think it's probably the biggest swaying factor for me for the, the mom and pop shops because we usually spend $30 to $40 tops at most of the places that we go. So when you go to a big chain, you just expect to pay more more money. You're not going to get a date night. We didn't get any beers or no. anything like that, too. It was two sodas, which were almost four bucks a pop. So you got almost ten dollars just in soda. Um, Before you judge, mine was diet, and I'm still doing well on the keto <laughs> diet. <laughs> I always get diet soda. Yeah, so I don't. I used to just get. You saw me suck them down. <laughs> suck them down, Sally. Not anymore. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, it was all right. I like the, uh, I think the atmosphere was cool. But um, overall, I mean, will I go back? Probably not. No, I won't go back. Honestly, if I have another date night coming, I'm like, if someone asked me to go to the Bonefish Grill and they're like, dude, like, if you don't go to this restaurant, I, I just won't go get lunch with you. If someone like did that to me, you would be like, well, you're not getting lunch with me. I know you. Yeah. Realistically, that's probably what I would do. <laughs> uh, but yeah. yeah. Okay. I pro yeah. It's, probably it's just say whatever. worth a try if you've not had it and you like seafood, but expect to spend a good amount of money there because it is expensive. The tuna poke or whatever it was. That was really good. That was good. It was weird eating raw tuna. Dude. And the bread, the bread that comes out in the beginning. Yeah. That was awesome. I did have was a lit. bite of that. We'll see what that does to me. <laughs> it was so good. But it was delicious. I ate the whole loaf. I Don't reg no regrets there. Minus minus my my little piece. But yes, you did. But you did that for me. I'm I'm gonna believe that was a nice act by you for of me. Of course, of course. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, if you want to try something new, you like chain restaurants. I think the Bonefish Grill is a great place to go. Just keep in mind, it's going to be expensive. Very expensive. At least for a lunch. Even for dinner, that's expensive. It's it was just expensive. Expensive, yeah. For like 15 bucks more, we could have just gone to uh, the Oakwood Club or... You know what? You're right. Something like that. I would much rather Food for that. thought. 
Yeah. And I would have ended up with the steak. Me too. <laughs> but that's going to do it for Streetlight Eats, Bonefish Grill. I'm Katie Masters. Jonas Selbert, Streetlight Realty, Team MVE. If you're looking to buy or sell some real estate from people who are very knowledgeable about food in and around the area, just let us know. <laughs> and that's a wrap. Bye. <laughs>